cats have a reputation for being untrainable. Unlike dogs who find joy in pleasing their owners, cats are known to be much more independent and don't seek our approval as much. But does that actually make them untrainable? Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, welcome to Furry Feline Facts, a perfect catalog of cat stats. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to effectively train your cat. If you're not already a follower of Furry Feline Facts, meow is the time to click subscribe and the notification bell. If you are, give yourself a round of applause. Okay, enough kidding around, it's meow or never. Let's talk about how to actually train your furry little feline. Don't let their seemingly uninterested demeanor trick you into believing that cats are impossible to train. A lot of cat owners shy away from even trying which can really rob you and your cat of a wonderful bonding experience together. The reality is that cats can learn a variety of different tricks and commands, such as sit, stay, handshake, fetch, spin around, and more. Many cats are indoor cats and life can be a little boring sometimes. They are intelligent animals and need mental stimulation to stay happy and training is a fantastic activity to keep them entertained. Like most animals, cats are motivated by positive feedback this can come in the form of food, affection, or toys. It's important to know that cats learn the best in short training sessions rather than long ones. The ideal length of training should be for just a few minutes, around five times a day. For example, let's say you'd like to train your cat to give you their paw, kind of like a cute fuzzy handshake. One way you could go about this is to reach out and gently hold their paw when it's time to feed them, before giving them their food. Then do the same with the other paw, Say the word paw as you do this. Do this a couple of times and your cat will quickly catch on and understand what you want them to do. Once they give you their paw, put down their food and let the feast begin. To really solidify the training, do it every day during mealtimes. After a lot of practice, they'll do it on command even when it isn't mealtime. A similar process is used to teach them how to sit. Use a tasty treat to hover over their head, just between their ears their body will naturally sit down as they look up at the treat. The moment their bottom hits the floor, say sit and give them the treat. Do this a few times per session to make sure they really get it. In this process, your cat is associating the word sit with positive feedback, the treat. They will learn that sit means to put their bottom on the ground and that it's a behavior you like them to do. Bad Behaviors there are some bad behaviors like scratching the furniture or jumping up on the counters that use diversions as the training method. For example, if your cat is scratching up all your expensive furniture that you spent a lot of your hard-earned money on, you're definitely going to want to stop that behavior from happening. The best way to do this is to give your cat another option to scratch. If your cat has been scratching up your favorite couch, then bring in a scratching post and put it as close to the couch as possible. Your cat's natural curiosity will make them take interest in the scratching post, and chances are, once they discover they can scratch it, they'll leave the furniture alone. To make it even more effective, try putting clear, double-sided tape on the surface of the couch. That way, if your cat still happens to try to scratch it, they'll feel the unpleasant sensation of stickiness on their paws, and will most likely leave it alone. What about cats jumping up on counters and tall furniture? Instead of yelling at them to jump down, set them up for success in their environment. Investing in a tall cat tree would not only make your kitty happy, but will also encourage them to stop jumping up on the surface you don't want them to. Cats like to be up high, which is why they jump up on furniture in the first place. Redirect that energy and their needs from your countertops to a cat tree. Try putting the cat tree near a window or in a space in the house where there is always something happening. Cats love to observe what's going on around them. Some people may not view this method as training because instead of teaching your cat a word or a trick, it seems to be based on distracting them. When it comes to training your cat to not do something, that is much more difficult than training them to do something. Your cat is still getting a reward when they leave your furniture alone and choose a cat tree or scratching board. As humans, we may think that negative feedback can also be useful when it comes to training or disciplining your cat but this couldn't be further from the truth. Cats do not respond well to any negative consequences when training. It can actually even cause them more anxiety or stress. So put away your spray bottles, no more yelling, and no more loud noises directed at them. 
It is as simple as rewarding good behavior with treats and redirecting bad behavior by setting your cat up for success in the environment around them. Clicker Training Let's talk about clicker training. It is an incredibly useful way to train your cat. It's actually one of the quickest and easiest ways for your furry friend to learn. Basically, clicker training reinforces the positive behavior your cat does. Clicker training helps your cat feel more in control in her environment because it offers her a choice. Basically, a clicker is a small device that makes a cricket-type sound. Its sound is unique, so when cats hear it, they will know that they have done something positive or desirable. The clicker marks the behavior you want from your cat, so the clicker communicates to your cat that a specific behavior or action is desirable. Whether you're training your cat to walk on a leash, come when you call them, or give you a high five, they will be able to determine which behaviors are being rewarded, and that encourages them to do more of it. So how do you do it? The first step of clicker training is to associate the sound of the click with a positive reward. Treats seem to be the most effective, but you can also use toys. So we click, pause for just a moment, then give the treat. This step is the foundation to the success of clicker training, so make sure to repeat this step several times before incorporating an actual trick. This is because your cat needs a few tries to associate the sound of the click with a reward for good behavior. They'll make the connection of exactly which behavior earned them the treat. Once your cat understands that the sound means a treat, you can start to work with them on a specific trick. Let's say you want to train your cat how to come when you call them. Make sure you are close enough to your cat for them to see you and the treats and call out their name. Once they reach you, click the clicker and give them a treat. Do this several times over the course of a few minutes for them to really get the hang of it. Once your cat starts to come to you consistently, you can slowly start to fade out the clicker and replace the click sound with the command come and still give the treat at the same moment. Eventually, you'll also be able to fade out the treats and they'll still do the command you ask of them. How awesome is that? The click marks the exact behavior you want. You must click it at the precise moment of action. So if your timing is off, your cat won't know what behavior you're asking of him. Make sure your cat looks at you between each successful attempt. Remember that you are the source of the treat, whether it's food, petting, or a toy. Remember when using food as a reward, make sure to measure your cat's daily amount so you can use a portion for training. Don't make the food reward extra or you'll see extra pounds. So limit the treats to less than 10% of your cat's daily diet. Multi-cat clicker training. I know that you, my fellow cat lovers, have more than one cat at home. So don't worry about how to click train more than one cat. You definitely don't need clickers with different sounds. Just turn toward your focus on one cat. The other cat will automatically know where attention is directed. Something very common is a multi-cat home where cats are hostile and aggressive toward each other. Using clicker training in this situation can be very useful for behavior modification by rewarding behaviors that you want to see. The goal here is to refocus the cat's attention. So for instance, you can click and reward any non-aggressive or positive display, such as when a cat breaks a stair or when one enters a room where the other cat is located. The most important thing when training is patience. Consistency is important and the key to success. The more you practice with your cat, the quicker they will start to get the hang of the training. Remember that this is a fun activity you are doing together, so don't get frustrated and enjoy the activity. And there you have it. Now we know that cats actually are trainable and even enjoy their training. Soon you'll be showing off all your kitty's awesome tricks and moves to your friends and family. If you found today's video useful, don't forget to subscribe to Furry Feline Facts for more content all about cats. Thanks for watching. See you next time.